Hi to all. Today I'm going to show you how to install Synth OS 6.4. Since we need to, we need a separate operating system. My phone provides a separate operating system, so I'm just installing it in the VM and workstation. So installing the separate system is same as of installing it in the VM and workstation. So I'm just going to start the installation. At first, I'm going just going to create a new virtual machine here I'm just going to select typical next and just giving the path of the ISO file of the CentOS open and view next so it was asking for a username and password so I am going to give it again username is begin select next I'm just going to leave it as it is so, uh, since I have enough free space so if you want you can just rename this virtual machine name select next and I will give 15 GB of space for the virtual machine disk I'm just going to select next. We're just going to customize the hardware here. Memory I have equipment 2 GB of memory processor. The ISO file I don't need this hardware floppy. Just removing it. Let okay. And the door is pre finish. So now I'm going to start the virtual machine is full screen so the installation was started So within this time, this time I didn't do any of the settings. Anything was not done by me. All the things are done only by the VMware workstation. So the only thing you need to do here is giving the username and the password, and don't forget the username and the password. It will take some time for the installation so if you wait for some time then the installation will be finished and after that the desktop will be viewed by you through the VMware workstation so the installation of CentOS 6.4 through the VMware workstation is bit easy when compared to the installation of CentOS 6.4 in VirtualBox or in your standalone system so if you install in the standalone system you can't see all these things which will be automated in the VMware workstation so you just need to do only one thing while installing in VMware workstation you just need to give the username and password that is enough So these are the things which are installing in the CentOS are called as the RPMs that is called as a Red Hat Package Manager. CentOS is completely same as of the Red Hat only certain features will be changed 
when compared to Red Hat and CentOS. I will discuss with you in the future. So totally 9 not 8 packages need to be installed. So if you install the CentOS 6.4 in your standalone system, it will ask for the packages which are all you needed to install in the standalone system or in the server. So if you just want to try it. For installing the operating system, you can prefer the virtual box for installation. So, if you only want the OS to be installed and kept it to be ready within within few minutes, then you can prefer VMware Workstation for the process to be done. was all installing the genome and everything what are all you needed so what is the disadvantage of installing in the VMA workstation so this said uh, the disadvantage in the sense you cannot customize you cannot select what are all the package which needs to be installed in the CentOS and you cannot confirm whether it was a server or it was a desktop version so all the things you need to see before installing a CentOS so if you want as I said before if you want the CentOS to be installed and kept ready within few minutes then you can prefer the VMware workstation so if you want the tutorial for installing the CentOS 6.4 fully from top to bottom you need to go for VirtualBox so through VirtualBox if you install CentOS 6.4 it will start you from the starting point of booting the disk till the end of the installation so to take a few minutes If you learn to install the CentOS 6.4 operating system then you can easily install the Red Hat also because both the installations are similarly same even each steps of installing both this operating system will be same so in this video I am going to show you how to install the CentOS 6.4 operating system 
in the VMware workstation. So in my next video, I will show you how to install CentOS 6.4 operating system in the virtual box. still it was installing So this is the final package which was installing. So it will ask for a reboot. What do we need to give it a reboot? It was installing the bootloader, that is a grub loader. And it was rebooting. So this is the place where you can check whether all the services are booting properly. So if any of the thing gets failed, then you can go into the system and you can check whether that service is having any problem. So if you see it was uh, showing as a warning that there is no KDM uh, initial RAM based form. So since I have not given the KDM, so it was showing the warning correctly.
so here you can see it was installing the VMware tools for interacting between my operating system and the CentOS so that we can share or we can add the device or remove the device Actually, you can see another drive is trying to mount that is nothing but my pen drive which I have inserted in my system so I have removed my pen drive so it will take some time to reorganize the services So it has finished the process of starting the service and now again I'm just going to enter the password and login. So you see the installation was not finished. And you can see the desktop like here. So this is installation of the Win CentOS 6.4 64-bit version. Thank you for watching the video.